All right, what is up, everybody? So I don't know how to screen capture on a PC. I am an Apple guy. This is basically just my tuning computer. I don't even know if this thing connects to the internet. So I'm gonna film this. It's gonna be a little bit terrible. You guys complain, but I'm just gonna give you the quick rundown on how to use the Terminator X software to enable your trans brake, rev limit, and bump feature. I had a time and a half trying to find this stuff. And uh, let me show you what I ended up figuring out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open, this is an older Dino Day uh, tune for my car. So if I'm my pin map, you can see that inputs, I don't have any inputs here, just, you know, standard dome pressure. Uh, outputs, I didn't even move these bad boys here. So we can just take these off here and get rid of these. That opens the pins back up. Um, if you don't, if those are full, if they have stuff on there, and it's crossed out, you can't drag new stuff to it. I found that too, so that's a little frustrating. So if you have something where it has a line through it like that, pull it up into here, and then when you're done, you'll notice if you come back, I believe, see, it doesn't exist anymore. Now you just got open pins. So, you're welcome for that, because I struggled with that, because, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not the brightest guy. Real quick too, I'm a beginner at all this stuff. I just want to show the other guys that are obvious if you're watching this, you don't know either, but this is how I did it. So just want to give you guys some basic knowledge. All right. So if you go into your little EFI guy right here, down to basic IO, that opens up this window. So I had a heck of a time finding this. So if you go to this third button right here, so first is fans. This is your lockup settings. The last one is staging, which I had no idea. And all you do is you click enable, bam. And then this will give you your ins and outs um, on your pin map. But I'll explain this really quick. You've got a single pulse, which would be basically a timed event. So it sends one single pulse and you hit the trans brake for a specified amount of time. And then this is how far your car rolls. So how many times you'd have to bump in, essentially. Um, the next option they give you is a duty cycle. So if you have a solid state relay like I have, if you watch my video, when I put the solid state relay in, um, what you're gonna have here, depending on your trans brake itself and your transmission, all that fun stuff, the, the actual valve body, um, you're gonna run a Hertz somewhere in the lower frequency. I, I think it's somewhere around between like 15 all the way to 60 or something like that, depending on the style of trans brake, transmission, valve body, all that fun stuff. And the lower the number, the slower it's gonna actually pulse, and then the duty cycle is the percentage of that. So that's how this works, and this is where it's a little less violent, you get maybe the roll feature versus the jerky bump in, which is what you see a lot of the time. Um, I'm working on this. When I get mine dialed in, I'll let you guys know what my settings were. But just for argument's sake, to make sure stuff works, you can just do this when it'd be like a point zero zero five or whatever you have for your seconds in there. So we'll just set that, we'll say that's our seconds. So now we've got basically our bump. With this enabled, it's also, if we go to pin map now, we've got two unassigned inputs. So one would be basically trans, brake, and then bump button but we're not done yet so we'll come back to that in a second so that's where you get those two items the next thing you need you just need to limit your spark so you come over to your spark tab rev limiters and then you go down here to rev limiter one you enable that so you can decide on how to cut it um, if you did spark only and then this is the rev limit that you're going to target when your trans brake is engaged so let's just say we want 3500 that's what we want to leave on there you go. On and then off would be, let's just say we want it off at 30, 34, 90. It's gonna hold us right at 3,500. So then that's set. So the next thing you wanna do is you come over here to the little turbo. And last but not least, you got your trans brake enabled and then your PSI launch. So we wanna launch with, let's say 10 pounds. So we put that in here. And we are essentially done with all of our settings there. So now you can come up to pin map and you got all these fun guys 
on your inputs tab right here and then on your outputs you just have the one so outputs is simple so you got your one output you drag it down you look at your pin map and you've got it wired to your b11 this would be your output number two now this is your staging output and it's a pulsed signal output so that goes to your solid state relay and that portion is done now on your inputs you're going to have two different inputs because one button is for trans brake and one is for bump so here's your trans brake button which would be staging one you also want to set your rev limit as soon as you hit that button with the trans brake engaged then obviously you need your trans brake and your launch get your boost all happening so these are all on the same button you drag your other button down below that to A13. So we got A3 and then A13. So these are your inputs to the computer and they're separate. And then these are G for ground. So these are run as grounded inputs. And then on the output side, again, we've got a pulsed output on B11. The pin maps and all this stuff for Holly, you can find it depending on what your configuration is. So they have the pin map output. And then obviously you can look up uh, your pins there. So that is it. Essentially, you are done. You've got a boost. Um, you've got a boost. Yeah, hopefully. You've got a trans break. You've got uh, your target boost pressure. You've got your spark limiter here. So that's what you're leaving at. And then that's pretty much it. And then obviously your I.O. is your staging. So this is your trans break. So how much the car moves when you bump it. I hope that's been pretty insightful. It's real quick run through, but that should get you everything you need to know in order to get the party started and get up on the uh, trans brake so you can set your boost and hopefully kick some butt. That is it. If you guys have other questions, concerns, comments, there's something I missed, maybe I sound like a raging idiot, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments section. If this was helpful though, let me know as well. And if there's anything you guys would like to see um, in the future, I can just kind of keep making these things, let you know where my settings are, and answer questions as needed. So that is it. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Till next time, I'm out.